For thousands of years, astronomers believed there were just five planets above us, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. But there were two other planets in the solar system. It wasn't until 230 years ago that man identified the first of them, an ice giant 63 times the size of the Earth and 19 times further out from the Sun. On the 13th of March 1781, Uranus became the first planet to be discovered with a telescope, not by professional astronomers, but by a humble musician from Bath. The composer of this tune, William Herschel, was a refugee from war in Europe and settled here at 19 New King Street, becoming the local church organist. William Herschel was originally from Hanover. He was a fantastic musician, wrote 24 symphonies. He did his astronomy very much as a pastime, but it was when he came to Bath and heard of another lunar eclipse coming up that he borrowed a telescope, discovered it was rubbish, very bad image, he said, I could do better myself. His desire to explore the night sky became an obsession, driving Herschel and his sister Caroline to build telescopes which would push the boundaries of Georgian technology. So this townhouse in Bath, I mean, now in the, in, in the workshop, would have been the equivalent of NASA's headquarters in the Georgian age, would it? This was mission control. William's telescopes, he was building bigger, better, than anyone else in the world would have for the next 70 years. His telescopes needed metallic mirrors to collect as much light as possible from the stars. The bigger these mirrors got, the more dangerous forging them could be. He was building one of his big mirrors here and making smoking metal for people in a tiny room and the bottom of the mould fell out. Explosion, so there was stone, <laughs> brick, molten metal flying around the room. They were very, very lucky to escape with their lives. But William and his sister's hours of hard graft and years of nightly observations were about to shatter theories about the planets laid down by centuries of stargazing philosophers. So we're here now in the garden that William Herschel discovered Uranus, um, and he must have been overcome with excitement at that discovery. He certainly knew he was onto something because his telescopes were new and the best that was around. He was seeing things that people hadn't seen before. At first, he was not sure that it was a planet. Philosophy said there can only be six planets. How can this musician from Bath dare say he discovered something that philosophy has said cannot exist? Herschel told fellow astronomers about the object and continued to track it. Its nearly circular orbit and lack of a comet's tail meant it could only be one thing, a planet. We now know that planet as Uranus, named after the mythological father of Saturn and grandfather of Jupiter. But that wasn't its original name. Herschel called it George. As fellow Hanoverian George III was on the throne, naming the new planet Georgium Sidus, or George's star, was actually a political gesture and the name lasted well into the 1800s. It also helped make Herschel the king's personal astronomer, and Caroline became the first woman to be paid by the state as a scientist. In fact, it served as a springboard for the Herschel siblings to build bigger telescopes that could look even further into space. Herschel constructed more than 400 telescopes. This is a model of his most famous, the 40-foot giant. With this added telescopic power, William and his sister Caroline were able to catalogue more than 2,000 new objects in deep sky surveys, not to mention the discovery of moons of Saturn and infrared radiation. To have done all of that has really paved the way for all the fascinating discoveries, such as Neptune, just 65 years later. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. On the shoulders of his discovery, we, we then were able to extend the solar system that much further people could afford to dare to look for things. You'd expect the discovery of Uranus to overshadow everything else that the Herschels achieved, but perhaps their greatest legacy was the inspiration of ordinary people making extraordinary discoveries.